the term stem cell tourism has become uh, very well known for us quite a few years now. And, and this is something happening all the time. People are desperate to find treatments for some of devastating diseases. And they will do, like anybody else, they will do anything in their power, you know, a father trying to find a cure for a child. And I think that, that unfortunately, can be taken advantage of. And, and stem cells became a big topic on that regard because many clinics are offering treatments what we know as actual stem cell biologists is that there are right now lots of hope, but very few actual treatments, and that's problematic. But I think something that's important for the general public to understand is that there's a lot of false claims out there, right? And so people would say, oh, I'm not going to fall for that. I'm educated. I understand these situations. I can go on the Internet. But as you noted, people will willingly suspend disbelief if they have a sick child, if they have a sick parents. For us, it used to be all offshore. They would go to other countries where, you know, the FDA approval mechanism doesn't work, things of that nature. But I think a troubling trend is that you're seeing that now in the United yeah. States. There's lots of clinics in Florida that are doing very similar things. A lot of them are getting in trouble and being exposed, but it's still very problematic. Please, please educate yourself. Please go to the right sources to read about it. You know, you, you mentioned a few of them. These are very important sources. The ISSCR has been doing work for many years now to put a very comprehensive list of things you can read about. You can find treatment. So please, please don't, don't just run and go to the first thing that people offer to you, especially if they're asking for a lot of money for it. 